Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today's our lecture is about the sound mechanics. In this lecture, we are going to solve an interesting problem about the compaction of the sound. So the problem states that the base course for a new road has been compacted and found that the mean value of the test sample shows water content of 15.5% is the specific gravity the G is 2.80 and gamma which is the unit weight of 19.2 kN per cubic meter. The specification requires that wide ratio should be less than or equal to 0 0.70. So this problem is the given data of water content specific gravity and the unit weight of the soil which is used for the base course of a new road and we should know we should find out that whether our wide ratio for this soil sample which has been compacted for a new road is less than 0 0.70 or greater than 0 0.70 if it is greater than 0 0.70 it means that it needs more compaction because the specification requires that it should be always or it should be less than the point seven zero. So we should find our wide ratio that it should be less than or equal to point seven zero. So it means in our solution we have to find our wide ratio which is the E represented by E. It is the wide ratio. So to find out E we have to use such an equation in order to easily find out this wide ratio. So one of the equation used in the soil mechanics is the, that the unit weight is equal to the specific gravity of the soil, the unit weight of water and 1 plus water content divided by 1 plus wide ratio. This is the most commonly used equation in order to find the unknown values. So here we can see that mostly values are given to us in this equation. So we can see here that the gamma is also given to us which is 19.2 is the unit weight of the soil. Gs is the specific gravity which is also given to us. Gamma W is the unit weight of the water and it is taken as 9.8 kN per cubic meter. This is the standard value for the water. This is the unit weight of the water 9.81 and also the water content is also given for this soil sample which has been compacted. So we can easily find out the wide ratio from this, from this equation. So by transferring this one plus E on the left side so it will become just simplifying this equation now plugging the values GS is 2.80 multiplying with gamma w which is the unit weight of water multiplying with the 1 plus water content is 15.5 percent but we have to convert this 15.5 percent this is in percentage so if we convert into decimal it becomes 0.155 we divide this 15.5 by 100 so we get 0.155 because this water content is always in the unit and the decimal value is not in the percentage. Dividing by the gamma, which is the 19.2, is also given to us. So by solving this, we get 1 plus E equal to, by solving this, we get 1.65. Now 1 plus E, or we can shift this 1 and to the right side, so we get E is equal to 1.65 minus 1. So E comes out to be 0.65. So E 0.65 is less than the 0 0.70. It means that our soil which is used the, which is used as a base course for a new road has been well compacted because it is according to the specification. Because specification requires that our wide ratio should be less than or equal to 0 0.70. And we found out that our soil has the wide ratio of 0.65 which is less than 0.70. So it means that we are in the limit of the wide ratio. Hope you guys understand that how we can find the wide ratio 
and how it should be related to the specification given to us. In this case, it is 0 0.70, while it may vary depend on the designer. Hope you guys understand, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching our video.